welcome to the KTA video learning series. This instructional series boils down the coatings inspection process, inspection instrument use, and relevant industry standards into brief segments that are easy to follow and understand. You can find the entire list of current and future videos at ktauniversity.com. Surface preparation operations during maintenance painting activities are often performed inside a containment to prevent surface preparation debris, existing coatings, and corrosion products from adversely impacting the environment or the public health and welfare. While the containment restricts the release of debris to the environment, workers inside the containment are subjected to elevated concentrations of surface preparation debris, so the containment must be ventilated. The purpose of a ventilation system inside a containment enclosure is to control emissions to the environment, to improve visibility, and to provide air flow throughout the containment enclosure to reduce worker exposure to toxic metals and other fine particulate that's created during surface preparation operations. Control of emissions into the environment can be achieved with the dust collector by sizing it properly to create negative pressure inside the containment so that if a breach occurs, air from the outside of the containment flows inward, preventing dust from escaping. Generally speaking, the greater the emission producing potential of the coating removal method, the greater the need for an effective ventilation system. The dust collection system must also be designed to achieve adequate air movement through the containment to reduce worker exposures to lead and other toxic metals to as low a level as feasible, as well as to enhance visibility. Guidance in containment design and recommended air flows is found in SSPC Guide 6. Guide 6 provides requirements for a range of containment options for hand and power tool cleaning, chemical stripping, water jetting, and abrasive blast cleaning. For abrasive blast cleaning, Guide 6 recommends a relatively uniform air flow through the containment in either a cross-draft or downdraft mode. The guide suggests minimum air movement of 60 feet per minute downdraft or 100 feet per minute crossdraft for abrasive blast cleaning in order to improve visibility. While these are common targets in the industry, there's no guarantee that these velocities will be sufficient on a project-specific basis to reduce worker exposures to permissible limits of lead or other toxic metals. Personal air monitoring is required to determine the actual exposures and whether the ventilation system is adequate. In order to determine the actual airflow versus calculated rates, velometers and rotating vane anemometers are used in the field. These instruments will accurately identify cross-sectional or downdraft airflows. In order to determine the negative pressure achieved, magnahelic gauges are used. One tube is placed inside the containment and the other exposed to the conditions outside the containment to obtain a reading. Guide 6 recommends a negative pressure of 0.03 inch water column. Another approach for verifying negative pressure is to simply observe the containment walls for inward deflection, but you need to do this with extreme care to prevent misinterpreting deflection caused by wind with deflection caused by mechanical ventilation. And that's all there is to it. For more information on this or other subjects, log on to ktauniversity.com.